A research proposal is a detailed plan outlining the intended research project and typically includes several key components that must be carefully crafted and presented in order to effectively communicate the research question, approach, and significance to potential reviewers or funding agencies. Title. The title should be clear and concise, accurately reflecting the content of the research proposal. Introduction. The introduction should provide background information about the research problem, describe the research questions or hypotheses, and explain why the research is important and relevant. Literature review. A literature review should provide an overview of the existing research on the topic, highlighting any gaps or areas where further research is needed. Methodology. The methodology section should describe the research design, including the research approach, data collection methods, and data analysis techniques. It should also include information about the sample size and selection, ethical considerations, and any potential limitations of the study. Results section should describe the expected outcomes of the research and how they will be measured. The discussion should interpret the results of the study, explain their implications, and relate them to the existing literature. The conclusion should summarize the main findings of the study, highlight its significance, and suggest directions for future research. Now we will discuss on the components of a research proposal, using the example of the impact of social media on adolescent mental health. Its title could be, The Impact of Social Media on Adolescent Mental Health, a Longitudinal Study. The introduction of this proposal outlines the importance of this research topic, highlighting the growing concern about the potential negative impact of social media on mental health. The literature review section provides an overview of existing research on this topic and identifies a gap in the literature in terms of longitudinal studies that examine the long-term impact of social media use on mental health. Moving on to the methodology section, this proposal describes the research design that will be used, which is a longitudinal study design. The study will follow a sample of adolescents over a two-year period, and data will be collected through self-report surveys, administered at three time points. These surveys will measure social media use, mental health symptoms, and demographic information. Data will be analyzed, using multi-level modeling to examine the relationship between social media use and mental health over time. In the results section, it is expected that social media use will be positively associated with mental health symptoms over time. The discussion section highlights the potential implications of these findings, which include the need for interventions that promote healthy social media use and reduce the potential negative impact on mental health among adolescents. Finally, the conclusion of this proposal emphasizes the potential contribution of this study to our understanding of the long-term impact of social media use on adolescent mental health and highlights the implications of these findings for knowledge, theory, and practice. Overall, this example proposal provides a clear and comprehensive outline of the key components of a research proposal and demonstrates how these components can be effectively integrated to address an important research question. Thank you for listening. We hope you found this video helpful.